At the end of the day, uh, we are looking at a deficit for 1920 of $8.7 billion, largely due to the crude by rail liability that we've inherited. Over the next uh, three years, of course, that deficit is reduced until in 2022-23, uh, we we're projecting a $600 million surplus. And that's after a $500 million revenue forecast allowance is included. Again, the McKinnon panel uh, recommended that we set up uh, a, a, a basically a, a revenue forecast allowance, which recognizes the revenue volatility that we face as a province. They suggested only setting that up after this province has come to balance. And so that's why we've established that in the, in the year that in fact we will achieve balance. The $750 million contingency amount is there as well. And so uh, we're very pleased to deliver uh, what will be a balanced uh, budget in 2022-23. Alberta has been an incredible, made an incredible contribution uh, to the nation uh, over the last decades. We want to continue to uh, be full partners in this confederation, but we absolutely need to ensure that we have uh, enough pipeline capacity, enough energy egress, so that we can continue to, uh, to generate wealth that not only this province benefits, but the nation. I would suggest there's not a bridge or a road or a school across this country that hasn't benefited in some way from Alberta energy. And so what we find untenable is when the rest of the nation is very happy to receive our $21 billion per year in transfer payments, and yet we get um, a very unenthusiastic amount of support when we have to build it, when we go to build a pipeline so that we can continue to generate wealth, not only for our province, but for the nation. In terms of consultation, uh, again, I believe uh, the most extensive uh, and uh, uh, important consultation was that consultation that uh, we did with Albertans back in April, as we presented uh, an extremely comprehensive platform, which has its risks, but it, uh, presented a very comprehensive platform, in, uh, put it in front of Albertans, and Albertans, again, overwhelmingly endorsed it. So this budget is really uh, the outworking. It's a budget that implements our strategic plan uh, that Albertans en endorsed um, last April.